Wow, super epic, man. Let's add some more music. Bam, bam, bam. Time of my life. Yeah. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today we're gonna check out Fit Green Mind with her video What I Really Eat in a Day plus my workout routine. As far as I know, Fit Green Mind is only 16, 17 or 18 years old, so I'm gonna calm down my response. Let's have a look. <laughs> Huh. Happy New Year and welcome Happy to this vegan full day of eating. I know okay. a lot of people do vegan January in January. I don't think it's a lot of people. I will give you some inspiration of meals you can cook. So I will show you what I eat, cook and do in a day. I'm hungry. Let's start with breakfast. Okay. What's that? Yesterday I made pancakes for me and my family and they were so good that I'm going to make them again. First we'll need some flour some vegan yogurt. This is really important and it <clears> will <throat> make the pancakes super, super fluffy. Trust me. Add I some don't. milk. Sweeten it however you like. It's just a bunch of chemicals as always. I wouldn't recommend anybody starting the day with wheat. No matter if you're eating meat, if you're vegetarian or vegan, why would you start your day with gluten? It just bloats you, leads to inflammation in the body, is super unhealthy. Of course, if you're still in your teens, you can get away with it. Not healthy though. And whisk it all up. This is our batter. Nice and thick. I'm too lazy to make individual pancakes, so I'm gonna make a big fat pancake. Or turn it into Kaiserschmarrn. We'll see. Kaiserschmarrn. <gasps> it worked at least kinda. <laughs> Destroy it. It's already destroyed. Here it is, topped with white almond butter and applesauce. Repulsive. Homemade applesauce. Weird flex. Ta-da! And I will enjoy this now. But what is to be enjoyed here? Yet again, you're simply eating a bunch of gluten. There is no nutrition in that at all. If you eat regular pancakes, at least you have eggs and real milk in them. And I'm not talking about flavor here. Nobody cares. I'm talking about the nutrition, the vitamin A, the vitamin D that you won't find in those plants, let alone vitamin B12. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I got love in my tummy and I feel like I'm loving you. Let's tidy up the kitchen. God bless her soul. Magic. Yeah, cool. Let's have chemical vitamins instead of simply drinking one raw egg yolk and having the vitamins that you need for the start of the day. Sad, really. And this is what they want you to be, of course. They want to remove your food sovereignty. They want you to eat their products. This is what veganism is about. Consuming. Since it's the last day of the Christmas break, there's some schoolwork I have to do, so let's get it done. Yeah, yeah, the Lunch time. Cool. My plan is to use this baby tortilla and this uh, baby tortilla. More tortilla. wheat. <laughs> then I will shred those carrots. Crumble this uh, smoked tofu and fry it in a pan for the filling. Yeah, this is absolutely terrible. First and foremost, she's using a filter too, like all young girls nowadays, to look better. It doesn't make you look better. It just makes you look smooth. It's unrealistic. This is not your face. Nevertheless, more gluten, more inflammation in the body. Tofu, phytoestrogens, and carrots, useless. For the filling. Why would you eat this? Then pack it in wrap, maybe with some vegan cheese. I hope we, we've got leftovers. Yes. Cool. Plant oils. Oh, the music is terrible, man. I have to tone this down. Bad. Yeah, cool. Uh, and obviously you want meat, because otherwise why would you create something that looks like meat crumbles? Here it is. Yeah. <laughs> Burned Probably to the ground. Not the hey. prettiest thing you've ever seen, no. but it tastes good. Yeah, that's all that counts. Again, she's only in her teens, so I'm not gonna be too harsh on her. Most teens eat total crap. The only difference here is that she believes she eats healthy. Little does she know this is even unhealthier than regular junk food. 
If you would eat real junk food, at least you would have some meat in here, some mayonnaise, if you get lucky with real eggs, you would have some nutrition. Now you just have the toxic plants. Yeah, you don't like it. Wow. I always get a lot of questions about my workout routine on Instagram, so I thought I'm just gonna share She's a little skinny. more here in this video. In general, I She's naturally broad shouldered, which is just the skeleton structure, which actually shows that her ancestors ate a lot of animal foods. She would have a good base for building muscle. Like this, of course, she won't build anything. I do an upper body, lower body split and work out four to five times a week. And today is leg day, my favorite sure. day. I usually start with a little warm up, AKA glute activation on my leg days. <laughs> glute just activation. Just to get active, get the muscles warm, <laughs> all that. That takes me around 10 minutes. After that, cool. I get to the main part of my training, which is weightlifting. I try to train progressively so that I get... Oh, and this is really what they want, man. She did her homework at home. She's working out at home. She's eating her products at home. Brave new world. Stronger, session by session, basically. I like to focus on compound movements such as squats, deadlifts, in this case sumo deadlifts, or Bulgarian split squats. After that, I like to do a few functional or... That is all movements. cool. Your workout isn't bad by any means. But yet again, you're not fueling your body with proper nutrition. Now you can get away with it one more time. But in your mid-twenties, late-twenties, you really, really gonna regret this. They're just really fun for me. And they improve my coordination and condition. And I get a really nice sweat on. <laughs> And cool. sometimes if I feel really motivated, I do a little 10 minute ab finisher after my workouts, but that's not always the case. And that's it. My training takes about 70 minutes and after that I feel amazing. <laughs> You're lucky. Sure you, you do. Time, it is. time for a snack. Grab a blender. Thanks to my brother. And as base, I will use frozen banana pour in some plant milk. How about some... It's very alluring, of course. I saw she has plenty of Instagram followers on YouTube. She has a good following as well. All of this will make her more motivated to continue with this malnutrition. It's a downward spiral. Peanut butter. Good tablespoon of that. Full with aflatoxins, but I'm sure you know that. Let's add a protein ball. Chop it up aggressively and add it. Why would you eat this? Let's blend it. Yeah, let's. Yeah. This is how people grow up nowadays. They are being fed candies and all kinds of sweets when they are children. And when they grow up, they want things that replicate that. I gotta plug it in. <laughs> let's blend. Oh, God help us. I can't see it anymore. It's something between ice cream and milkshake. But it's really creamy. It's chocolatey. It's delicious. It's terrible for your health. <laughs> <laughs> and I will cook dinner for me and the family. It's lasagna time! Yay! Wow, well, super epic, man. Let's add some more music. Bam, 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 so time of my, my life. Yeah. From my own cookbook. Ach, das ist ja vegan. Entschuldigen Sie bitte, ja. Next, I peeled and finely chopped uh, I can't see this anymore. Onion. This is too much for me, guys. Really? And start frying off onion and carrots. Then I've added the soy Lasagna is a dish that comes from the peasantry in Italy. This is when they used still some meat, some cheese, and mushed it all together with gluten sheets. The point of the story is there are still some animal foods in it left which will keep you healthy. In your case, you replaced even the animal foods by more toxic plants. Plus, plus a little bit soy sauce and balsamic vinegar. Plus soy sauce and, and lasagna, and man. And some Mama sauce. mia. Then just mix and you're done. Ooh la la. Yeah, ooh la la. What is that supposed to replicate? You don't understand that. And again, you're very young, so therefore it's okay. You can't understand it yet. However, this here is replicating, supposed to replicate meat and cheese. Why would a human do that in the first place? If animal foods are so unhealthy for us, why do you try to replicate them in every single dish? Please wake up. You're still young. Don't throw away your youth. <laughs> Juten. Uh, Juten aber das. Rule number one, never skip dessert. So here are some chocolate gingerbread hearts and gebrannte Mandeln we still got from Christmas. Fantastic. 
And that was my full day of eating. I'm gonna brush my teeth now and go to bed. And I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I could totally. give you some inspiration. Yes, so inspiration. Hit the like button, subscribe, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Do for it, more. guys. And let me know in the comments how you like. Some Tell video. her. All right, guys. And this is it for today's video. As I said, I'm not gonna be harsh. She's still very, very young. She can't help herself. This is why she does it. She's been brainwashed by German media. I know that Germany is pushing veganism strong. It's absolutely repulsive to see. No matter if it is Aldi or Lidl, the famous supermarkets, they're all pushing this agenda. And of course, on TV, social media, you can see the same gunk being promoted. The reality is, of course, she ate foods that want to replicate animal foods because the human being wants to eat animal foods. Why does the human being want to eat animal foods? Because we've been conditioned. No, it's not because of conditioning, but it is because of our nature, our biology that is made to consume flesh. Deal with it. All right, guys, and this is it for today's video. If you liked it, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And if you want to support this channel, all the links are in the description box below. Thank you so much for your support. As always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.